everyone! And you can't even see me! <laughs> <laughs> I went to wave! <laughs> we switched over, by the way. Say hi! Hey, guys! <laughs> well met, adventurers! <laughs> <laughs> I have to open strong somehow. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness, this is gonna be fun. When in doubt, be very, very crazy. Sounds good. Welcome, faggy viewers, to today's stream of mischief and mayhem. <laughs> oh no! You, mischief and mayhem, heroes and halfwits, failures and frivolity. <laughs> Probably not giggling what frivolity means. Where? Ah, oh, man. Now you have something to Google after the game. Moving on. 25! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Guilty. Hey, William. Hey, Guilty. Thank you for joining in. Uh, William, hello. Hello and welcome. <laughs> Hail and well met. I'm not on a dual monitor system, so I'm kind of working with split screen here. Uh, hey. Well, you can split it out into a pop-up, so it's like on a separate uh, window, not a separate monitor, but a separate window. That helps sometimes too. It doesn't clog. I do screen. have it like that, so it's basically kind of squished right now. All right. My character has an ability called Lay on Hands. <laughs> and the jokes begin. <laughs> I'll lay my hands on you. Oh, yeah. Put on. Yeah, you. Yeah, you know it, pal. I did. <laughs> oh, you're a funny now. man. <laughs> no, you're a funny like, man. I need one of those freaking um, drum to the audio soundboards. Yeah, rip shots. Yeah, I could have, I could have picked one of those up, but they weren't royalty free. Anyway. Okay. Um. <clears throat> what do we do? Oh, I gotta open the chat. That helps. All right. Over to you, Crimson. Oh god, I just minimized everything. <laughs> she was. <laughs> All right, so if everyone is ready, we can begin. So, do jokes count if they are uh, said in an Aussie accent? Of course they count. God damn it. Sorry, GM. <laughs> I'll shut up. Just tell me to shut up. It's okay. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so. Music stopped. Uh-oh. All serious now. Yep. Uh-oh. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Uh, shall we start? <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh oh. <laughs> now, for whatever reason, you all found yourselves in the town of Summerbrook. Some of you wandering from place to place, others seeking enlightenment, others seeking glory in battle, and some just pursuing the next distraction from the mundane droll of everyday life. For whatever the reason, you all found yourselves in this small town, and noticed some strange goings-on through hearsay and rumor, people disappearing, population drastically decreasing, screams in the midst of night, and no trace ever found again. Coincidentally enough, you all arrived in town on the same day, and were noticed by the officials. They requested your presence and explained the situation to you. Many individuals have gone missing, leaving in the midst of night. However, the last disappearance was witnessed by one of the town's officials. We were seen going into a small cave, which seemed to be carved into a cliffside, which was not there previously. Your mission is to enter this cave and map it out as best as you can. Discover every nook and cranny that is there. Find out what lives in that cave, if anything. What happened to the missing citizens. And if you can, put a stop to these disappearances. Succeed in this, and they promise to reward you. So we have to map out a cave. We have Lucia in our party. We are to we're so fucked. <laughs> With that, we move here. He'll break his legs! Are you for the host, Kobe? 
<laughs> Sorry. No, <laughs> yes, that was actually probably... really cool. I'm really excited now. Let's go. <laughs> it sounds really awesome, Chris. Should... I'm excited. We should also introduce the characters briefly. Crystal, uh, or Elena here, is the human, uh, the human cleric under the guidance of Helm, the god of protection, under the light domain, who loves fire. If everyone would care to introduce their themselves. Oh, I'll go next one. My guy's Tobias, the uh, three foot eight inch uh, gnome paladin. In case you're wondering, those are two different uh, measurements. Um, he is under the guidance of Sun, the goddess of beauty, and he will have sex with anything that moves except for redheads, because that's disrespectful for Soon, who's also a redhead. Besides that, um, He's neutral, good, and does whatever he wants. <laughs> well, um, my girl is Natasha Iliana, or Nana for short. Uh, she is a half elf druid who um, wants to improve herself through the knowledge she acquires from nature. She's very quiet and not a good speaker. Okay, and I am uh, Rathina. I I wander here and there. I I don't really hold to any one place because, well, most people don't exactly trust me. <laughs> but you shall learn more about me as time goes on. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh, kid. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so fucking evil. It does sound so evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, fucking Jesus. god! <laughs> oh man! Is this is this going to be a nightmare scene or something? <laughs> oh no! This is just the fog of war. I will remo I will remove more of it as as time goes on and as you explore the cave itself. Also, you also you'll notice that every square. Equals five foot of movement. Okay. So if you wish to move, you can move up to your movement in speed. If you're just traveling together as a party at a typical pace, then you need not worry about any major speed differences. However, in combat, it will come into effect in play. Okay. All right. Um, Elena, what's your speed? Because I'm just going to uh, take you carry me like a backpack. Mine's only 25, so I'm <laughs> slow as shit. You're just going to carry me around. Anyway. Yeah, you're 30? All right, you're carrying me around, bitch. I'm just going to be a backpack. <laughs> She's 16, man. She's not going to carry a 40-year-old gnome on her back. She can bloody well try. Don't even bother asking me. If she would like to. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'll give it a try. <laughs> oh, this is already gonna go bad, Jesus Christ. Alright, so. Alright, let's see here. Let's see how strong she is. What's happening? <laughs> Oh. oh, she has to do a strength roll. <laughs> 18, okay. What is your current weight? Um. Um, 137.3. She's able to carry you for about 20 feet piggyback before she collapses onto her knees, panting heavily. <laughs> That's fine by me. We can... Guys, we're going to go 20 feet at a time, and we're going to rest for an hour, <laughs> and then go another 20 feet. <laughs> and so it begins. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Alright, moving along. <laughs> yes, so. So. All of you, except for one, can see in the dark. That would be Crystal. However, Crystal also has the cantrip of light, which is easy enough for her to cast on her mace. So for the purposes of this, all of you can see. 
Otherwise, we can just kind of tie a rope around her and lead her along like a um, um, blind person. Yep. So, what yes. would be the marching order? I'll go first. All right. I'll be second. Um, probably I'll go behind Elena. Help guide her. All right, then. So, all of you can move yourselves along the path. I'll remove a little more of the area as you move along. So. Though right now, I am actually not seeing the area that we're... We no, are I can't see right. either. I just got the... Uh, dunga, you, should, dinga. You, should scroll, uh, you should scroll to the bottom left and be able to see it. Uh, oh, hang on a second. Ah! There we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, everything's black. Everything's black. Everything's black. Oh, there, oh, there we go. go. Oh, ooh. And so how many can we move? Yes. We can just click and drag. Ah, there we go. So cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> yep. Let's go, Tiny. Go this side. <laughs> oh, I can see you guys move as well. Yeah, yeah you can. So cool. Yes. <laughs> well, it's a good thing that we're staggered here because it, it might be a problem otherwise. It's quite possibly. I want to stick to the back. <laughs> I, I, saw, I saw that. You backed off a little bit. Thanks. Thanks, Luther. I was spacing it I, out. I probably should have gone so far forward. Whoops. <laughs> that can be fixed. So, proceed through these roughly carved walls of this cave. Hearing a few faint scratches in the distance of what you can only imagine is whatever rumored creatures may reside inside here. Progressing ever further, as the cavern slopes at certain angles, and then you come to a crossroad. A road leading upward, and to the left, and one leading downward to the right. Before Marissa, we left or right? Why should I make this decision? Before which, we which, proceed, I'm going to investigate the area for anything that could go and reveal the things that are in here. Okay. Sounds good. Right. I'll, uh, okay. I'll have you make an investigation check. Okay. What do I need to roll for that? Uh, you should, should be on your character sheet, or sheet with the skills section. You click on the word investigation and it will roll the dice for you. Is there any adjustments to uh, for advantage or disadvantage, or is it normal? No, just a flat roll here. Okay. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> uh, great start to the night. <laughs> Lovely. Would you like me to help? investigate as well? <laughs> You're welcome to if you would like. Can't hear what you're saying, Chris. I'm trying to find investigate. <laughs> I got investigate bonus. I think I'm in the wrong spot. Do you need me to walk over there? It, it's underneath the saving throws. Which are underneath the proficiency bonus. Which is underneath should, inspiration. Should be, should be to the right of constitution, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. Yep. That works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, nope, can't see it. Oh, I'm sakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found it. Aha! Just as I walked Aha. over there. He, ma he, made a, he made an investigation oh, check. Oh, oh hell yeah! <laughs> nice. 16. With that, you can tell there's some... Uh, there, is, there is a series of footprints that travel through both pathways, but the halfway to the left seems to be more heavily packed with them. Ravina? Smells a little dank in here. Okay, Larissa, left or right? Uh, 
Well, we're meant to be investigating what's in this cave, so I say left if that's where the footprints are going. Okay, let's go right. Oh, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I that surprised? <laughs> it's <gonna sit> great. <laughs> all right, all right. Do you guys want to go follow all the footprints to the left? Well, that's, we're meant to be investigating what's going on in this cave, so it makes sense to right. me. Okay, let's go left. All right. We died. So we're so we traverse a bit further. And the cave opens out into a large, vast open room, sloping upward at a slight angle. Ooh, trap. <laughs> Probably. It's a trap. Yes, a slight, a slight hit of moisture drips from the ceiling. Little trickles cooled onto the ground, dripping from stalactites in the ceiling. I think we should investigate again. I'll have you make perception checks this time, and everyone can do this. Perception? Yeah, I'll do perception check. Ooh. Ooh. Oh shit, Crystal's blind. <laughs> ah, thanks. Alright. Uh, Crystal's still having a bit of trouble seeing the farther distances all of you can with your dark vision. But all of you can... You don't see anything inherently, but you do hear a faint noise coming from above you. Better not be spiders. Okay. And with oh. that, you are able to identify uh, several very large groups of bats hanging from the ceiling. Oh, seem to have noticed you yet. Seem to be. Are they just slightly <laughs> larger than a normal bat, or are they just normal size? Uh, uh, with your dark vision, they appear to be just a writhing mass of vaguely bat-like shapes. It's hard to determine where one ends and the other begins. Is is there uh, much further to the uh, the far side of the wall, or is there a wall uh, beyond them? All right. Uh, oh, for the purposes of indication, I will point out that if you click and hold in one spot on the screen, you'll uh, lose a ping, a ripple like so. So if you need to identify something, you can do it that way. Okay. Ah. Over here. Uh, no, there seems to be simply wall over that way. Well. Here? And over there, more darkness. Okay. Appears to move on. <laughs> Let's go over here. Try avoid the bats. <laughs> um, we should probably get some fire ready, though, just in case they're going to go. <laughs> right. So, they're proceeding just straight off, stealthily. In what way? Um. Quietly. Quietly. Okay. I'll need everyone. I'll need everyone to roll a stealth check, and the paladin is wearing chainmail, so he'll need to make this with disadvantage. Oh, lovely! Hell yeah! <laughs> I'm a sneaky bastard. A wolf? Yes, oh, you got. Yes, but you roll. Right? Yes, but you roll with disadvantage because you have chainmail that makes a lot of noise. Oh. <laughs> this advantage means you roll twice and take the lower of the two numbers. Oh, okay. Ah, there you go. I'm still a sneaky bastard. <laughs> and I'm still fucking quieter than Larissa bumping around in the dark. Shut up. <laughs> well, wow. Okay. Crystal rolling well on stealth. That never happens. <laughs> it's true, you can ask her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with those, you are able to successfully circumvent the bats. Ooh. Ooh. So, and on there you proceed. Beyond, beyond them, the cave yep. continues. 
Okay. Probably do another perception thing, maybe? <laughs> for investigation? Uh, I'll say that your passive perception is enough for this. You're passively looking for anything that's possibly out to get you. Okay. <laughs> so, onward you proceed. The air does get to be a bit mustier. Great. We picked up some bat poo. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. No Perhaps one or two puddles were stepped in, but thus is the life of an adventure. Is there any history that I'm uh, aware of in regards to the area and this cave in question? Uh, you tend to avoid towns, and this is about as close to an outskirt as this town has. Ooh. You probably know that there's some. Decent vegetation and wildlife in the area, but aside from that, not much about the town itself. Well, I'm a rock gnome, so I should know about the caves. Mm. That's not how it works. Oh. <laughs> Just means that you were born among people who lived in caves. Oh, okay. Does it mean you know these caves. Be cave man. I actually hate caves. <laughs> Used to being in the woods. Alright, so, you've come to another crossroads. One leading to the west, the other leading north. Investigate. <laughs> Ooh, eighteen investigation. Ooh, okay. Uh, you can see several footprints leading in both directions, as before, but they seem to be more evenly spread out this time, and there are more animal footprints towards the left. Fuck that, we're going right. <laughs> well, certainly after the, uh, the map is revealed a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Awesome, so, okay. Up the pathway you go. You can see that it opens out into a very wide, spacious area, much like the last. Okay. This one more... much more divoted. with several bumps and slopes in, into the ground. Do I use my so, insight into the rocks to see if it's a trap with the, the rocks? Insight's more to gain knowledge on someone's motives. If you're looking for a trap, you can make an investigation check to see if there's a trap here. I'll, I'll do a check. Haha! -ha. My guys are fucking amazing at that. <laughs> or as you can tell, doesn't seem to be any kind of trap you come across here. There's a couple of, uh, of holes in the wall, but aside from that, nothing out of the ordinary. Shall we investigate the holes in the wall? <laughs> Will we need perception or um, they holes we can walk through or holes we just stick our arm into and lose an arm on? Uh, you could probably walk into them. Everyone else would have to crouch down a bit. <laughs> Alright, I'll check out this hole. Alright. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> he says as the music stops. Uh -oh. <laughs> it opens up into a uh, a small spacious area. Spacious for you, at least. I do overstep. Oh fuck! I can't say shit. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> However, you do hear this very strange noise. It seems to be echoing from all around you. Noise like. Alright, I'm just going to back away from that hole. <laughs> I don't like that hole. <laughs> and as you turn away, 
Uh oh. Uh -oh. You, hear a, you hear a faint <laughs> from behind you. <laughs> Did you at least try to sneak away? No, of course he didn't. And over nope. your shoulder, <sighs> you see a pair of dark, beady eyes staring right back at you. I'm going to try and uh, charm them with my charisma. <laughs> How do you go about this? Oh no! <laughs> what are you saying to charm these multiple eyes? Don't you think it's gonna work? Soft, soothing voice like I normally do, while I back away slowly. Oh, man. <laughs> and what do you say? Please don't bite me, Mr. Scary Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> the clicking stops. Fuck yes! <laughs> I think. And then a loud squeal from before you. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, lovely. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good? I'll, I'll just hop down the ladder. As the form lunges at you, but you're able to move out of the way. I'm gonna need you to position what? your token right over th there for me. As out from this cave comes the massive form of a giant spider. Oh, not a spider! Oh, lovely. And in response <laughs> to the loud squealing, another comes from above. Oh. <laughs> I hate spiders. It's time to get fighty, everybody. I'll need you all to roll initiative for me. Uh oh. Oh damn it, who'd fucking go calling into a random hole in a fucking cave? Well, it seems I'm doing okay. Um, where's the initiative thing? I can't see it. At the very top. Initiative is at the top. No, I'm, no, I'm fucked. Oh. <laughs> Alright. So, I will get everyone added onto it here. Christina. <laughs> <laughs> and we have two giant spiders over here. Lovely people, really. Uh, we have Larissa with a 15. And we have... Crystal, of course. With a 5. Right. Crystal! <laughs> it's okay. It's normal for her. Yeah! <laughs> I either go really high or really low. <laughs> there is no in between, ever. <laughs> and what, believe, believe me, I checked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe try. Uh, I don't know. Well, this should be interesting. <laughs> Alright. So uh... At the top of the round, we were Zena. Well, considering that we are dealing with two, we had best deal with uh, one of them right away. Do the Damn 14 it. one. The one that's got 14. <laughs> Ooh. I cast uh, Eldritch Blast at the one uh, closest to uh, Tobias. Okay. Eldritch Blast. Uh, go ahead and uh, roll an attack. So just click Eldritch Blast on the attack section. That should roll the attack for you. A 19. That will hit. In the chat, you can click the text that says Eldritch Blast, and that'll roll damage. Okay. Now you click the word Eldritch Blast oh, in, the, in the chat log. <laughs> It's okay, okay. common mistake. What? It's still giving me that. <laughs> it's still no, in in the chat, not in your character sheet. In the chat, okay. I don't have Eldritch Blast. Okay, no, there Chris, we go. not Yuri. It's right. 
Don't worry about that. <laughs> Alright, nine points of force damage, okay. Yeah. You, yes, you let force a blast of force shriek towards it as it <laughs> reels back in agony. Okay. It did not like that. Well, of course. Alright, so that is your attack action. You can move up to your movement speed if you'd like. If you have something you can do as a bonus action, which I don't believe you do, you can do that as well. I think I'm going to so move you... closer to in between both of them. Okay, now you've got the movement for that. Okay. Will that be your turn then? That's yep, that's it. Alright. Now, giant spider from above makes its way out of its chasm and closer to you. <laughs> well, of course. As as you would expect. It attempts to bite at you. Let's see here. Does a uh, what is your armor class currently? Thirteen. Should say thirteen. Right. It. Uh, yeah. You will suffer. Uh, about uh, five points of piercing damage, and I'll need you to roll a Constitution saving throw for me. Okay, so do I just go and uh, click Constitution? Uh, it, it should be in the Savings Throws section. You just Saving Throws and click the word Constitution, it should okay, roll Okay, okay, gotcha. Okay. Eleven. Alright. Yeah, you can feel the poison trying to rack through your veins as it sinks its pier pincers into you. But you're able to shrug it off. Okay. That will bring us to Tobias. Alright, I will try and finish off the spider closest to me, this one. Alright. You'll have to run up to him to hit him with your sword. Wah. <laughs> Alright. You can click your long my... sword. Would you like to use this one handed or two? I'll use it two handed. Alright. Normal roll. Eight. That will miss, unfortunately. Ah, oh, bugger. <laughs> yep. And you're using this two-handed currently, so you do not have your shield out for this, so your armor class is 16 until you choose to pull your shield back out. Okay. I'll just keep a mental note of that one, though. Okay. And the spider attempts to attack in retaliation. And as he does not like his, uh, his potential prey moving about on him. He then, he then rears back and spits out a giant viscous glob at you, Tobias. <laughs> as you are now yeah. covered in the sticky spider webbing. You are considered restrained for this, which means that you... You are currently unable to move out of your position. But as an action on your turn, you can make a strength check to try and break free of it. Oh yeah, boys, let's go. <laughs> that will bring us to Crystal, who has experience with giant spiders, actually. <laughs> Did that work? So, what would you um... like to do, Crystal? Am I able to uh, re move closer to Tiny? <laughs> yes, you can just get to him. Okay. Um, burning hands on the uh, spider? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so, the spider needs to make a dexterity saving throw. The uh -oh. passes. It passes, but it still takes the damage, so we'll roll damage for your burning hands. Tail as old as time. <laughs> it's her go-to. Oh, something shiny. Burn it with fire. <laughs> I fucking should have tried that. Alright, so it takes three points of fire damage. And you can see that a large... A large enormous fire bursts forth from behind it 
as you ignite the webbings that were behind it in its in its cavern. You nearly catch the webbings that are attached to Tobias, but luckily you're not quite aiming in that direction. So he is a bit. <laughs> Barbecue Tobias. Sounds great. <laughs> Are you gonna see to this mess? I was just checking for treasure. You're poking in the hole. <laughs> I love poking in the hole, though. He's a man. He's designed to poke holes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I apologize. Right. And Larissa's turn. Yes. Oh yes, Larissa. For some reason, I didn't add you to the turn order. I'll add your turn now then. <laughs> what was your? Oh yeah, my she was like second. My apologies Oops. for that. I'm used to people uh, adding themselves on initiative order. Oh, I did roll. I thought, but maybe I didn't. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you did. But to add yourself to the initiative order automatically, you click your token, then roll initiative, oh. and it'll add you there automatically. But I didn't explain that, so that one's on me. But yes, we'll add you to the initiative now. I'm a noob. Whenever <laughs> I'm playing this before. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Just kind of forgot I was dealing with such. Alright, so, <laughs> up you are. Um, okay. I was thinking, I, I'm not sure if this will be the right action, but I was thinking Frostbite on the spider that's got to, uh, Tiny webbed. You can certainly do that. We're going right. to set fire to it, now we're going to fucking freeze it? God yep. damn poor thing. <laughs> yep. What? Yep. One of its legs is currently <laughs> smouldering, the other is now... The other side of it is now covered up with the numbing frost. It has to make a constitution saving throw or take some damage. Uh, which it will fail. So go ahead and roll your uh, roll your frostbite damage. Yep. All right. It takes four points of cold damage and <laughs> now has yeah, Becca does. Yep. And now has disadvantage on its next attack. It is. Looking pretty brutalized at this point. Meanwhile, there's another fire buffer, I think. Oh. So, uh, are we at the top of the order again? That we are. Okay. I actually didn't uh, notice whether or not uh, I took actually any damage last turn. Uh, you did, but you forgot to apply it. You took five points of damage. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay. Now, I am going to actually uh, use... What is it? Let's see. Chill Touch on the uh, the spider that's nearest me. Because, well, can't exactly let it go uh, without uh, damaging it. Better run away. All right, then. <laughs> All right, then. Go ahead and roll your Chill Touch attack. We'll see if it hits. <clears throat> Thirteen. Yep, that will hit it. Go ahead and roll damage. Oof. Six points of necrotic damage. Yeah, you rot one eye out of its head. <laughs> 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 and with that, that I shall go and uh, run back to about where uh, Larissa is too. Okay. <laughs> As you leave its range, it's going to try and make an attack of opportunity against you. Say that again? <laughs> it's going to try and make an attack of opportunity against you as you leave its range. Okay. When you leave something's range without uh, backing away cautiously, known as disengaging, which takes an action to do for everyone except for rogues at about the second level, uh, they have the option of taking an attack against you as their reaction. Okay. It's, it's kind of a, hey, get back here, kind of thing. <laughs> Pretty much. Anyways. Yeah, uh, he misses though. Catches thin air. Ooh, true. Very nice. <laughs> Alright, got lucky on that one. Well done. It's now his turn though. Uh, through his turn, isn't it? She no. 15? No. Hmm? Uh, yes, it would be, and I nearly skipped her last time, so we'll take her turn now. Oh, okay. Uh. Maybe try and freeze the other one so I can't move. That was actually what I was just thinking. Yeah, I think I'll do Frostbite on the other spider. The one that was attacking Athena. Alright. Another constitution saving throw. Uh, Let's 
Uh, it managed to pass this time. The frost does not affect it. Ah. You can still move, and you have a bonus action, and I believe you have healing word as a bonus action. I do? Yes, that's a bonus action to cast it. Okay. It's one of the few bonus actions in this party, I believe, actually. Should I... I... Uh, it's yeah. up to you. No one's really too hurt. I mean, Rathena's at below half, but at the same time, didn't have many hit points to begin with. Well, I can cast it on Rathena. That'd probably be a smart idea. Hmm. Alright. So, I'll need you to mark that you've used the spell slot. It's in the spell section of your character sheet. Um... I can only use them once, can you? Or? Uh, she can use any of her spells of first level twice. Okay. So yeah, in slots remaining, you can bump it up to two, or bump it to one, because you have used one. Once it's at zero, you have no more spells. Until you take a long rest. Okay. I'm not exactly sure how to mark it on my spell sheet, sorry. <laughs> Help. It's alright. Uh, I, I should be able to get it for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you go to character sheet, in the spells tab. Yep. Where it has the one section, it has slots total two. Slots remaining zero. Oh, yeah. Click yep. the up arrow on that. And when it's at one, that's how ah. many slots you have remaining. Cool. That makes sense. Should have just edited it for you. Yep, I say that. All right. Yeah. Now I need to click on healing word to cast it, or? Yes. Cast it with level, level one. Yep. Yep. All right. You regain six hit points, Ruthina. It'll bring you back up to full. Oh, Yay. Thank you. The insane shall survive a bit longer. <laughs> Uncle, that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh indeed. So, anything else with your action? For movement, or... I think I might stay where I am. It's a good spot. Yeah, movement's about all you have left at this point, yes. Okay, okay so... Uh, the giant spider... Uh, after being rotted away. <laughs> now, I'm also going to shoot webbing at someone. Oh, great. Right. Hit. Uh, yes, that will hit, actually. So now Ravina is stuck in the webs and cannot move. Though she can break free of it on her turn, should she choose to. Okay. Alright, so that will bring us to Tobias. Okay. So, I, I can't move yet, but I can still hit, I take it? Yes, you can attempt to attack him. All right, I'm just going to attack him again. Uh, All right. Two-handed. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. 17. That will hit. Okay. <laughs> now, this damage roll might be a bit tricky, but we're going to go ahead and try it. So click longsword in the chat. So the second number is the damage you deal when you're attacking two-handed, and then we add the modifiers into that, so that's nine points of slashing damage. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, cut it, off its legs. Yeah. Nice. You, you do cut off two of its legs, actually. Yes. Ah. <laughs> quite literally on its last legs. Uh, you cannot move. Uh, you do not have any bonus actions as of yet, so that would be the end of your turn, I believe. Yep, that's okay. Which will bring I'm us back to this. Yep, which will bring us to this spider. Who is uh, going to attempt to flee back into its chasm? If you'd like to get Yes, you would you'd be uh, able to try and attack it with your longsword as an attack awesome. opportunity, if you'd like. Yes, please. <laughs> Can't run from me, little bitch. Yeah. <laughs> ah, fuck. Yes, yes, it can. <laughs> yes, it can. You, you, you swung right where the legs used to be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah, so it moves back. And proceeds to power there in the darkness. Okay. Crystal! What do you wish to do? 
Can I fire at it with my crossbow? Mm, you move a bit to the side, and yes, you can. Maybe try and get the yeah, other one. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Right, which one? The one that's uh, the one that's brutalized, or the other one? The one that's brutalized. All right. Oh, mercy, jeez. Move a bit to the side. <laughs> and attack with a crossbow. Uh, that will hit. Yeah. Holy shit, ah. did I? <laughs> Was that a natural 20? Nope, 20 total. For 8 points of piercing oh. damage. Yeah, Ooh. she... Yeah, she is a... She... You, yeah, she fires it. She sees the vault vanish as it opens its jaw to hiss at her. And then the noise stops, and she doesn't see where the bolt went. Until it falls to the ground, and she can see a bit of fletching from the bolt sticking out of its jaw. Hmm. That's what a deep throat means, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> Funny oh <my> God. <laughs> I was waiting for that. One spider down. Uh, yeah, one down. No, that will bring us to Rathina. You're stuck in webbing. Hmm. You can attempt to break free with a strength check, if you'd like, or you can remain where you are and attempt to attack. Hmm. Do I, do I actually have access to Hellish Rebu Rebuke, or is that not yet? Uh, you do have access to it. You only have one spell slot, though. Hmm. And you can cast that when you, uh, as a reaction when you take damage. Ah. Then I shall just struggle for you. All right. Make a strength check. You'll click the strength, uh, the word strength, where the attribute is. Okay. Seven. Uh, it's just not breaking. Wow, that's just unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. And I guess that, uh, aside from that, not much else I can do. Hmm. Not on this time. Uh, Nana. Yes. Um, I was thinking of doing something a bit different this time. Um, fairy fire. <laughs> wow, busting out the spell slots early. All right. Maybe. <laughs> Probably just try and okay. freeze it. Save your spells up, maybe. Mm. Nah. Okay. Set it on fire. Your, yeah, it's your choice. But hey. What will be the more recommended option? <laughs> I would say save one spell slot as you're, as you're technically a backup healer as well. Good point. So I just go whack it with my staff then? You could if you would like. Yes, you do have shillelagh, so you could hit with your wisdom instead of strength. That is a good which point. I have, which I have not yet changed on your character sheet, so I can go and do that now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll do that. All right, and depending, uh, would you be cast using this uh, one-handed or two-handed? Um, probably two-handed. All right, go ahead and go ahead and click it and roll for attack. So, we should be clicking the quarter staff. Yep. Yep. Twelve will just hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Um, oh yeah. Right. One-handed or two-handed, you said? Two. Two-handed, okay. So that'll be six points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Yep, you give it a mighty whack across the skull. I'm assuming I need to be up close to I didn't move my character. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of nervous that. I was kind of nervous There you go. Otherwise, you would be swinging it out of the air. <laughs> yes. And I would in be laughing. It, in retaliation, it will attempt to bite at you. Of course it will. Stupid spider. Alright. Uh, uh, <laughs> can't roll today. No. It <laughs> misses you, unfortunately. It's, a bit, it's just a bit wobbly from that whack to the head. 
Right. Tobias. All right. I'm going to try and break out in a cold sweat. All right. <laughs> Don't even have oh, to roll to break sake. out in a sweat. <laughs> you have to roll higher than that to break out a webbing, though. <laughs> Right. This um, is our paladin. <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. There's no roll here. There we go. So you told ya. <laughs> it does take your action to break out of it. You get one per turn. I know. I know. That's right. I'll say. Um, I'll say. This is a tutorial. I'll say next turn you can break out. Okay. Right, so I'm just gonna it's sit here and over for a while. Alright, Crystal. What would you like to do? Can I help him break out? Um... Yes, you can. I will say you will, off, you will take the help action to aid him in breaking out next turn. Which we already know he's going to do yeah. anyway. We can, although... He doesn't have much health left. If we all blast him, you can probably kill him before I get out anyway. Also true. Gotta think fast. Um... Spider, then. Alright. We're after it how? Crossbow? Mace? Sacred Flame? Crossbow. Alright. Crossbow it is. Sixteen. Yep, that'll hit it. Seven points of piercing damage. Yeah. Right in the eye. <laughs> Oh, damn, our like healers that. are fucking that badass. <laughs> it's about damn time after saving our ass from death. <laughs> well, personal well, vendettas. Well, with my turn up, I decide to go and actually take out my dagger and cut myself free. <laughs> but, yes, I will say with that, you are able to cut yourself free. And you will okay. be able to use your movement action this turn. Okay. I shall move to just Beside Nana. All right. Mm. Nana, this spider's looking pretty rough. Mm. Um. Boop it on the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll um, use my quarter staff again. All right. Guacamole. Holy oh, shit! Ooh. Ooh. Oh! 19, so close. Yeah, but that will most definitely hit. Roll your damage. Yep. Boop. <laughs> that is one squished bug. <laughs> I said boop, not bam. <laughs> bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Finish! <laughs> no snore coming through! <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. And with that, the corpses of the spiders have fallen to the ground. Yay! You have succeeded in this combat. And I am unable to actually play the Final Fantasy theme because that is copyrighted. <laughs> and I'm still stuck. <laughs> do, 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 Finally, I'm out. Thank you! <laughs> I'm glad I wasn't the one who did it. <laughs> no. Yeah, cool, so I'm finally yes. free. Yes, you're finally free. Woo! This is something that I should have asked before, but are there uh, that many other holes that are around this cave? This, uh, uh, there is the one that the other giant spider came from, and a tertiary one of about the same size. I'm now going to investigate the hole. Now that I'm <laughs> All right. There is a lot of smoke in this place from where Crystal lit a fire behind this thing. I okay. want to go and air it out first. Alright. Let's go check the one over here. <laughs> uh, there is a large, there is a large uh, 
web-like cluster taking up most of the space in this area. Does someone else want to help me investigate? My guy's blind at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need to roll an investigation check for everything. Sometimes, some things I'll just tell you. Okay. I'm going to try and open the the, the cobweb sack. Okay. Uh, it it tears easily enough. Have to use a little bit of force on it, but uh, but uh, inside you find a uh, the half decayed remains of what you imagine was one at one point a deer. Ugh. Yum. Yum. <laughs> Back it away. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to stop touching now. Alright. Considering the excitement we've had, I've, I will approach the tertiary uh, hole. Where is it? Is it over here? Yes. I'm going to uh, move quietly as I can up there to go and investigate that. Tani, you stay down here. <laughs> so I, I'll stop moving. I was right. for treasure. Uh oh. Yes. Approaching, yes, approaching cautiously. Uh, <laughs> you find no sound coming from inside. No visible movement. And is uh, much similar, except much more densely packed with webbing. And upon okay, closer yeah. inspection, you can see that there is a spider here, but of a much smaller size, and with its legs curled in on itself. Ooh, a pet. Wait. No, I'm gonna back away from here, <laughs> slowly and quietly. It sounds creepy. And I guess I'll have to go and do a stealth to go and make sure that I move away quietly. No, oh, the, the form screen. doesn't seem the form doesn't seem to move. I'll have you make a nature check. Do you want me to do that? Uh, no, yes. Rathina. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Well. That went great. <laughs> Actually, there's really low DC on this. That was one dead spider. Did you want to come check this out, Larissa? You were a spider expert? Not a spider expert. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else around here, or does the cave proceed further this way? It does. It proceeds further in this direction. Huh. I think we should double check that that cave. Well, there's going to be treasure. Chris, this treasure is so tingling. Yes, yes, it is. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome to check. Make an investigation check. I'll say with disadvantage because you're being hindered by the webs. Hell yeah! Was that disadvantaged? Yes, it was. Oh, God. <laughs> Do, do I investigate anything? Uh, well, you roll with disadvantage. Oh. Because you're trying to sift through webbing. Bit tougher. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah, see, that's how you do it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, 11, uh, takes you a few minutes, but doesn't seem to be much of anything there. There's a few lumps in the webbing that seem like they could be something, but upon closer inspection, they are, in fact, more webbing. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> You're going to take some webbing with No. Wait, you. Okay. Jeez. Oh, okay, you have some webbing with you. I imagine you just... Here comes the hoarder. <laughs> I... Oh, I'm well, I'm well aware of how hoarders work. Everyone's a murder hobo at heart. <laughs> but hey, you never know when the Spider-Man ability might come in handy. I can throw the web in at Sunday Girls and trap it. You never know. Or you can throw your hand out and watch as the web slings back and hits you in the face. Or that. Or that. Yes. That's more like the outcome. Yes. <laughs> the beauty of a natural one. All right. Um, going this way then. If, did anyone else want to check out that hole before we leave? Nah. No. 
You want to do a nature check on the spider, Larissa? You might get a pet spider. It's dead. You can get a dead pet spider. It's dead. <laughs> it can still be a pet. <laughs> no. Don't be racist. Jeez. Necrons are a racist, well. I think they'd be species. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Don't be lifest. Uh, you're only lifest if you're a necromancer. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> Bye, Crystal. <laughs> Well, moving on in this cave, it seems to get darker and has a very strong, muscular scent to it as you proceed further in. The cave oh, seems to stretch out a bit. Shh, Grace. Son of a... <sighs> I knew saying musk was going to trigger something like that. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> but I said it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> <laughs> None. Crimson, is there any other uh, footprints uh, like uh, what it, what there was at uh, the earlier parts of the cave? Take yeah. a survival check. Because at this point, you're not just trying to pick out a detail, you're trying to look for something specific. This is more of a survival thing to track anything that might have walked through here. Oh, With the wow. 19, yes, there is still... There is still... Uh, there's a plethora of animal footprints and a few... What seem to be boot tracks. Mm. <laughs> we seem to be on the right track then. PSA. Indeed. So, proceed a bit further. You come across another open chamber. This one much larger. Mm. With several <laughs> uh, slanting uh, areas of. Where that seem to look almost like ramps that you're not even sure if they could naturally be carved in such a way. Okay. There's several vast openings. Too, too dark to see anything out of immediately. Well, from what perception? What? Probably. That's a big cave. Yep, I'm blind as fuck. Well, I'm going to take a look around myself as well with perception. Up to you, Larissa. Eh, the way. Apparently, I'm as blind as you are. Uh, that queen. <laughs> she knows the way. She knows the way. Do you know the way? <laughs> Damn it, I was about to do that. Oh, dear God. <laughs> queen. Yeah, found the queen. She knows that, the that way. Be, that may be a low roll, but I'd like to point out she rolled a two. And still rolled better than both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Show us the way. Stop with a 22. Yeah, you do notice uh, several piles of uh, animal droppings. Show us the way. <laughs> One of which Tiny is about to step in. Can you stop him? <laughs> uh, <Yep>. Nah. <laughs> Fuck you. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I then proceed to wipe my foot on um, Nana's cloak. No, don't you dare. <laughs> uh, when I told Elena I had traps in place, she had no idea what I was talking about. That was it. <laughs> I knew I'm they were trapped. I just didn't know what kind. I, 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 in the nicest possible way. I, I tried to miss. I didn't miss. I, I tried into it. Yep. And now I use Nana's cloak as a to clean my shoe. No, you do not. <gasps> Done. <laughs> I just use my staff to keep you away. <laughs> yeah, like kids on the playground, the taller kid just holding him by his head as he swings his arms <laughs> madly at you. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Well, all this well, is going welcome on. back, Ildas. You didn't miss much. I just trod in a giant piece of shit. Um, <laughs> Which uh, I saw yeah. you, do noise. Uh -oh. you do hear a noise above hit. A low rumble. Accompanied by another one. As it seems to grow louder. Louder. Let's slowly back away. 
Uh oh. <laughs> I'm going to. I'd like the I would like the druid to make a nature check. Sure. Yeah, I was gonna say let's do some nature check. Uh, where is my nature check gone to? Ah, uh, mine's used. Apparently, it's gone to shit. <laughs> Uh, best you can tell, there's there's some animals in here. And where's my nature check gone to? Is it just nature? Uh, left hand side, yep. It's nature, okay. Sixteen? Hmm, yeah. You've heard these kinds of cries before. Several times in the wild. Okay. And now I need to do a little bit of work here. And out from several of these of these areas come many snarling, growling wolves. Oh great. <gasps> My rod is here! <laughs> Shut up, Chris. I'm gonna ride yes. a wolf into battle. <laughs> I'm gonna mount one, it's gonna become my horse. Yes, a dire Uber. Yes. <laughs> oh, Someone no. died me an Uber. Uh. <laughs> Or dire wolves? Uh, they're just wolves. But there is a lot of them. Okay. Well, this is a dire situation. Potentially. <laughs> should should we try and do a check to try and show ourselves as an alpha? And so they can take us as their alpha. Like You're the so. size of one of their pups. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a nasty ass pup. <laughs> well, technically you're a nasty foot pup at this point. <laughs> 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 well, but uh, I'll say anyone who's proficient in animal handling can attempt to defuse the situation. Well, I can do that. Uh, you go, Gal. Oh fuck! Yes, <laughs> twenty-three. Mm. Okay. Oddly enough, you've spent enough time in the wild. Uh, encountered several wolves and packs of wild dogs during your encounters, and were able to pick up a few signals from them, a few different ways they communicated after watching them for a very, very long time. Okay. Some of the members of your tribe just thought you were crazy, but okay. it seems to have worked because with a few deep, throaty growls and a yap or two, <laughs> a few of the wolves were tracked back into the caves. Woo. Hmm. Let me grab one as a mount. No! They seem to be watching you curiously, though. Okay. They've stopped growling, but they aren't taking their eyes off. Well. Time we for just me try... to go and have a moment. <laughs> I am going to intimidate. <gasps> I think, nah. <laughs> Actually, that's probably okay. a good idea. I... I should even try and intimidate as well. you intimidate the wolves? Uh, I just calm them down. And I and I will scare them. <laughs> I give a oh. giant beastly this roll. Isn't nearly that bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rathina, how are you intimidating the wolves? I actually go and let loose with a blood curdling roar. Ah. So, much of the same volume, alright. Scaring them with sound, alright. One or two of them do back off, but the rest of them remain there. Okay. Now we should try and sneak past them without being seen. <laughs> they are <laughs> They're fully aware of us. <laughs> and you smell like them. They can see you. Oh, I, I am one of them. I'm good. Hey guys. Christopher, no. They can't, they can't smell me. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Um, so are we ready to head in or? This is Wait, if we, if we attack them, the other ones are going to come back anyway, aren't they? No, no way of knowing for sure. We will probably try to go and just keep 
the intimidation up while going through. Okay. 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 Mm. I'm going to have you roll me another intimidation check, then. Oh, okay. Yeah, yep. Damn it. I tried. I, tried. I got this, fan. Uh, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. You move a bit closer, they don't seem to react. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> You get about halfway towards them. And then one of them begins to snarl and snap at you. Uh-oh. Nice I snarl and snap back at it. <laughs> and likewise. <laughs> I brandish my staff. <laughs> <laughs> and, for, and, for an, and for a solid minute, the snarling and snapping of Tobias and the wolf. <laughs> all that is, is all that is heard. <laughs> or loud... Ominous howl emanates from a chamber. Uh oh. About here. Which one? Sorry. Uh, right about here. Ah, right. Lovely. Christopher. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's just try and do a quick perception check over there. I'm pretty sure that's where the big alpha is. Yes. There'll be no perception no. check needed for that. As you look, you see a large hulking form. Oh no. Emerging from emerging from the area. With lar large B eyes and several smaller caps forming seemingly from behind it. Mm. And the head then shifts down. It appears to sit in the entryway. You can see several smaller, much more fumbling in nature versions of it. As it sits in the entrance. No. Oh. Wait, Wait we, have we have food? I'm going to give us some food. Christopher. I'm going to befriend it. watching you, never moving its eyes from you. Um, if you harm it, have... Christopher, I will kill you. <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to give it some food. Wait, wait. Um, items. Oh, we you, have ra you have rations in your, uh, in your pack. Right, I'm going to throw at one of the rations. Okay. Also, make an animal handling check then. Mm. Everyone, prepare to run. Maybe it should be me approaching the wolf, Christopher. Mm. Okay. Nine. All right. <laughs> I have you roll a strength check as well, just to see if you can like underhand toss far enough. Uh, which one was it? I strength. Uh, yeah, strength. I assume you're not fastball specialing a piece of meat at this dog. <laughs> well. Like, here, love me! <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, I throw yeah. it way too short. Yeah, it falls a bit short. Okay, okay. do you want to have a go, Larissa? Yeah. Um, could I possibly do my speak with animals here? You Wait, you could... You fucking speak with animals. You could have saved yeah. me some rations yeah. and told me that earlier. <laughs> no. God damn it. I didn't let you Nothing do it. Nothing can be done. Nothing can be done. Huh? All right. So, speak with animals. Okay. Let me just scroll up. Uh, if you wouldn't mind clicking that so that the uh, template comes up in chat so that some people can see what it does for those who don't know. Ooh. So, yes, all right. So, are you taking the time to cast this as a ritual, or are you expending the spell slot? Um, or you may want to spend the spell slot on this occasion. Yeah. Okay. All right. Out of spell slots for right now. 
but you are able to communicate with, with these animals. Ask him if I can have one as a mount. No. I'll feed him well. No, shut up. <laughs> I'll do a charisma check for as you. Can, as you focus in on the natural elements around you, you look into... Look into these beasts' eyes, and a sense of clarity seems to wash over them. Hmm. And though their ma- though their lips do not move, you can almost hear a voice in your head. Why do you disturb our den? Mm. <laughs> well, we're trying to. Um... I, don't know, I try and communicate that we're trying to find out what the disturbances um, the people gone missing. We know of these civilians. The humans entered here, but not alone. They were not of our concern. Okay. Um... Uh, I'm trying to think what should I say. <laughs> Can we go without getting our faces chewed off would be a good idea? Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> Can we pass? We have no um, issues with the wolves. We just want to um, find these humans. My pack can hunt freely enough. We have no quarrel with you. But should quarrel arise from your initiation, we will strike back. Which way did they go? <laughs> yes. Which way did the humans go? And the other creatures go? She turns her head southward. Okay. Further in. Be warned. You may not find precisely what you seek. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and with that, her, uh, one of her pups kind of fumbles over itself and she picks it up in her mouth and carries it back with her. The rest of the wolves. Have one. No, Christopher. <laughs> the rest of the wolves <laughs> fall back into line. Yay! Oh, Nana, what did they well say? Well done. <laughs> I am un- I am unaccustomed with animal speech. <laughs> They'll leave us be as long as we do not attack them, and we need to go southward. I'm gonna pick up my ration. That means you, t- Tobias. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. You behave. You- Okay. What is your passive perception, Tobias? <laughs> he said, "I don't know." He didn't. I don't think that came through. I, I don't know what my passive. I don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, passive perception is listed on the character sheet oh. right below skills. It says passive wisdom and then perception in parentheses with a number next to it. What is that number? Do you need me to come over there? I mean, um, perception one? Uh, like the perception roll? That's no. a one. Uh, passive wisdom perception. Oh, wisdom. Ah, 11. 11. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Right. You go I'm and retrieve not. your ration and put it away. <laughs> Nothing wasted. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. <laughs> I just shake okay, my head at Tobias. <laughs> Let's proceed, otherwise we'll get caught up in another mess. Yes, so I need to head south. So, yes, south where do you go? It's further onward. <laughs> and, uh, oh boy. Oh. A lot of, lot of clicks. Rip headphone users. Go out the way. <laughs> Maybe we show you do it. Be done, Jordan. I am the DM. I know the D way. <laughs> show us the way. <laughs> and out of thin air, I go and pull out the matches and a jerry can for. Uh... <laughs> Crystal. I'm sorry, what? 
They had jerry cans back in? Peace. <laughs> well, there'll be a, a vat of oil or a, a flask of oil, but close enough. <laughs> Little did the DM know, he somehow forgot that he gave the warlock alchemist fire. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That would have come in handy with the spiders. <laughs> Alright, so, you all proceed ahead. <laughs> For the next hour or so, things are rather uneventful. path winds on and on. Oh, there we go. As Tobias messes with symbols on his token. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> just found a cool he button. He realizes how distracting he is. <laughs> <laughs> that just means I have... I have my... my Nena whacks Tobias on the head with a staff. <laughs> Ow. Does she really? <laughs> Stop no, fucking around! <laughs> <laughs> So I take it All there's right. nothing eventful until the close to the end of the path? Hopefully. That is correct. Okay. You stop at a very oddly placed pool of water. Mm. Oh, I'm thirsty. This is a cave. Check, check the water because it's very odd. Water does not seem to move. That touchy. That getting too close. You're not coming through all the time when you're talking. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Trying to investigate the water. Looks pretty wet. If it looks wet. <laughs> can I see anything in the water? The 15. You see something possibly moving at the bottom. You can't tell what it is. Animal handing. First, do you want to have a look, see if it's, see what it is? Uh, <laughs> I want to. With, the, with the 24, uh, 24 in perception, you can tell there's something in there. Okay. Do your animal handling, because we know it says something moving at the bottom. If we know oh, if it's an animal. Well, she has to know it's an animal if she wants to handle it. Yeah. She doesn't know what it is. Should I do a while nature check? Going... Crimson. Yeah, while could. this is while this is going on, I'm gonna actually uh, use my perception to look around uh, the edges of the water and like uh, look at uh, what's around it. All right. Don't even need perception for that. Just looking around the edges of it. Trying to see if there's anything irregular about it? Yes, and seeing if uh, there's it leads to anything else. Because if there's a, a pool of water here, who knows what uh, what land we'll need. For an, an exit, or just to be able to defend ourselves. <laughs> well, with... Uh... With the 24 in perception, and you looking around the edges, and... And with that suggestion, uh, Nana, you are able to see that there is what appears to be a shift in the current at the very bottom. Okay. It doesn't seem to be too deep. Hmm. But the hole isn't very large. You reckon you could probably squeeze through it, but still be risky. You don't know what's on the other side. Mm-hmm. Well, there's only way to uh, one way to deal with this. We're going back. I dive in. Oh my! <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> the shortest of us dives in. Cannonball. <laughs> well, less of a cannonball, more of a. I'm not gonna push that. <laughs> I just, uh, I'll just leave that to the imagination. <laughs> <laughs> I jump into the water, barely making oh. a ripple. <laughs> that you do. <laughs> <laughs> and as you do, you, you feel countless forms swirling around you. Oh, no. As you flail about madly, you feel several 
bites across your form. As you take ten points of piercing damage as small piranha-like creatures and hippers begin to assault your body while you are submerged in the water. Ah, oh, dear. God damn, I told you to do a nature check. Alright, I jump back out. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna need you to make an athletics check to see if you can swim to the surface quick enough, because you're wearing some heavy armor. <laughs> there you go. Eighteen? Yeah, that'll get you out. There's a few few kippers still attached to your armor. Okay. But they're I, fighting harmlessly at metal at this point. Okay, I collect them and I put them in my backpack. Okay. <laughs> And I slowly shake my head and wonder what I got myself into. I'm doing the same. <laughs> As does the DM. <laughs> I'm gonna need some health now. No, stuff you. Uh, well, convenient for, conveniently enough, you have some. Um, do I heal myself? Uh, you can. You have lay on hands. And two hit points remaining. Yeah, I'm just gonna lay on hand. <laughs> All right, you can restore up to five hit points, and you can allocate it at whatever times you wish and however much you wish. Do I have any other healing abilities, or just? Uh, not at this moment. All right, I'll Second just level, you start getting spells, so you could pick up something that could heal there. All right, I'll put the whole five back on me. All right, we're back up to seven then. Larissa, I told you to do a nature check. God damn it! I didn't Who is this, jumping? Larissa? Who is this, Larissa? Nana. Nana. God damn it, Nana. <laughs> I've been meaning to say that all night. <laughs> hey, you seem to be having I was just a hoping that at the very end she's just going to be like, by the way, you're crazy. My name's Nana. <laughs> 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 all right. Let, let's head this way. <laughs> yes. All right. And that can be the fishy. Jesus, you're having too much fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I All right. knew that there was something fishy about Tobias. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I knew someone was going to do it. <laughs> I knew someone was going to. Uh, well, I can I go <laughs> Ah, carp. Ah, so what's damn, my back. Yeah. My back. Oh boy. <laughs> right, sorry. Right. So, what's going so on? as you get to this point, you're able to hear faint murmurings. You can definitely identify as voices. What uh, languages does everyone yourself? know? Languages. Let's see. I know. Uh, common, gnome, elvish, and celestial. Ah. Common and Abyssal here. Common, Elvish, Primordial, and Draconic. And Druidic. And oh, Druidic, sorry, I can't see. It's fine. You could just click the thing and it'll pop it up in chat. Oh, okay. There we go, that might be easier then. Uh huh. Oh, and Sylvian. <laughs> Fuck, Sacred Sun. <laughs> Did you want to leave some languages for the rest of us? I travel a lot. <laughs> well, we yep. seem to yep. almost have the full package. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so does the gnome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was put down quite. <laughs> it got short feeded a bit. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that one wasn't intentional. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, three inches and eight. Uh, sorry. Three feet eight inches, buddy. Those are two different measurements. Oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> now I'll wax Toby on the height, uh, on the head again with her staff. <laughs> yes, yes. Three feet. I've got your staff head. right here. Yes. Three feet is his height. Eight inches is the size of his brain. Still pretty big brain. Coincidentally, it's also the size of his mouth. <laughs> yeah. So, voices. Yes, voices. Uh, none of you are able to discern what they're saying. They do sound to be coming up from ahead. Okay. I'll try and work it out. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, it would be an insight check. I would say this would be a... I'll say this will be a history check for you. 
history. Oh, then I may want to go and actually get it. Uh, take a look. Fuck yeah! <laughs> First one of the night. There it is. Yeah, you've you've had a few people in your order who you trained with, uh, who spoke like this. This is a uh, this is clearly Orcish. You don't understand it, but you know what dialect. It is. Okay. Ugh. Orcish. And I guess with my wanderings, <laughs> I came across this as well, but uh, I have no clue what they're saying. Yep. I remember the orcs. They were dicks. I'm gone. <laughs> Come back here. Oh, hey, you've got a new tank now. Whoever's up ahead. Okay, um, is this a split in the road, or is this just leading into the... Uh, this right here would be a pillar of sorts. Uh, I'm going to hide behind the pillar. Try and get a look at it. <laughs> Any game designer knows a pillar is there to be hidden behind. Of course it is. <laughs> I take a pillar wherever I am. Oh, yeah, no one Can we just move on, please? <laughs> Alright. So. That's a pillow, Tobias. A pillow. <laughs> Perception. I was going to make the joke. I'm so glad someone else did. Alright. No one else needs to make the reception checks. Mine's a pathetic. You, you don't have to make perception checks all the time. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> You don't really need to roll unless I ask for a roll. Oh, I, really? Okay, all right, I'll stop rolling. It's like, it's like you don't always have to make a check. Some things you just know. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, I'm just going to go behind the pillar and look. Uh, you can see a faint glimmer of firelight and two shadowy forms, but can't make out any discerning features about them. Well, there must be orcs since they're speaking orcish. I pickpocket them. <laughs> Wait, they can I convert are... them? <sighs> you can certainly try. Would you just don't? <laughs> <laughs> so, how, how are we going to go? Are we going to try and creep on past them, or are we going to try and convert them as our followers? This well, what does the, the what does the area look like? Mm. Because that would actually determine a lot of our actions at this point. Okay. And I take it that they're all uh, to uh, the northwest? Yes. Okay. I haven't put them on the map yet, though. Do they look friendly? Make an inside check. Mm. Can't tell. <laughs> they look like chummy. I'm going to move behind the pillar myself. I'll do an okay. insight check as well. Go for it. Uh, look about as brutal as any other orc. Not necessarily the ones you want to tangle with. Right. <laughs> they armed? <laughs> Not that you've had much experience with them, but the ones you had weren't exactly agreeable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what is exactly is over here, where I'm to? Uh, that is a wall. <laughs> is it strictly just a wall and... No, I mean, uh, you said that there's a pillar here. That means that there, we go. there would be a bit around it. There we go. That's <laughs> what I was at, wondering about. Okay. We could almost creep around them, maybe. What? Okay, um... Probably want to go and have the armored one be the last one to move. Okay. To do a stealth check? Mm, that would be a stealth check, yes. With disadvantage on the, uh, on the gnome with the armor. But not disadvantage yeah. for us. No. All of you are wearing a, some form of light armor. Ooh. Oh, well done. <laughs> you disappear. <laughs> <laughs> and now, let's see if it can happen twice in one night, Crystal. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Either really high or really low. There's no in between. <laughs> 
no. All right, let's see if we can. Let's see if that's enough, though. Gonna see if they're perceptive enough to so care. Definitely able to sneak. Yeah, let's see if uh, let's see if they can see through the uh, cardboard box disguise. <laughs> <laughs> oh my snake, god! Snake! Snake! <laughs> I have not become a solid snake. <laughs> oh my god! It fucking worked, didn't it? It did. Oh my god! <laughs> I was kind of hoping to try and shut it down. <laughs> Their perception was an eight. Oh, <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> one of them rolled a two. The other one rolled a five. God. I'm just an ordinary cardboard bot. <laughs> you know, you're just still, you're just still thinking like Kronk from Ebro's New Groove, just going by. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so you've made it past one pillar, down to the next, and somehow the token has rotated. That's interesting. <laughs> what? That I rotated? Yeah. Hmm. He's... Yeah, you could adjust it. Yeah. He's a big cooker. I know you could, I just didn't expect anyone to. <laughs> well, I figured I'd uh, adjust my facing. So. <laughs> yeah, I get you. Okay, what's uh, up uh, along this... Up ahead, uh, another opening. Another opening. Lovely! Now the stealth check? Yep. Yep. Stealth. <laughs> well. Oh, wait, no oh, disadvantage. <laughs> I seem to have ghosted along pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Yep, they're Larissa. able to see you that time. Yep. yep. Damn it. Just for the everyone except for Larissa. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try something. I'm, I'm I'm gonna roll just for that purpose of rolling for the cleric. Mm. And there she is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh no. So I'm going to instead come out into the open now because I had some orcish cleric guys with me. Do I know at least some phrases, like, hey, you? Uh, you can certainly try and say something to them, Norgish, if you'd like. <laughs> yeah, and so I just, like... You and, then, and then just grunt angrily and just... Right, right. So <laughs> I'm going to grunt at them uh, a greeting. Norkish, normal Orkish greeting. Alright. And the fishies I picked Which up earlier... Like... like oh. Oh. <laughs> and while all this is going on, I slowly back down the hallway. So, <laughs> this is the greeting that my friend, the Orkish Paladin guy, taught me when we used to use Orkish greetings. And what I do is I'm going to throw the fish at them. Not at them, but to them. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, the, uh, the still flailing kipper from your pack. Uh, attempts to bite you, but your gauntlet is enough to, uh, to ward off the damage for the time being as it flops through the air and sloppily lands next to the campfire. So they look down at it and just growl at you. And... I need you to roll a persuasion check with disadvantage because you are speaking in a language you don't know. Yep. yep. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm this. just shaking my head at him. <laughs> I've got this, guys. Oh, man. Happy I'm fucking amazing. <laughs> oh my god. As you throw the fish, you are too preoccupied on it as a javelin soars right by your face. <laughs> okay. And he looks at you and says, Speak about my mother like that again and you'll be <laughs> a different whole gnome. <laughs> and... <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you get the feeling your friends lied to you. Yeah. 
in normal orcish fashion, I insult them back with as much vigor <laughs> as the playful banter demands in orcish, uh, orcish language. Uh, you have one job! <laughs> so, oh, so, check with advantage. so, are they speaking common now? Yes, they are. Alright, so I can just do it without disadvantage? Uh, you can just speak to them at this point. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to um, use persuasion back and use another friendly insult on them. Friendly insult? I'm sorry, I'm going to need to know how that is phrased. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh yes. <laughs> it ain't this easy. I say, um... Your mum warned me you were going to be here when she fucking told me about that last night. Oh no. At least I thought it was her. There were several others in the room at the same time. Oh no. <laughs> well, Mrs. Alderman, I'm I am scratching... Now. I am scratching a message to anyone <laughs> coming through to, to avoid the childish gnome. Beware of beware of gnome with sword taller than he. <laughs> Can I just knock him out? His bark is obviously <laughs> his bark's a lot bigger than mine. Hey, I've got this, guys. I've got as much as I'd love you to. I have another thing that's going on right now. Uh-oh. Uh oh. He throws the fish right back at you. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. okay. <laughs> um. Right in the face, I'm willing to bet. Let me <laughs> I catch the fish, <laughs> I bite its head off, and I throw it back. <laughs> Strength check, <man. laughs> oh And a constitution save. Because this is a grody fish. Uh. <laughs> You are biting the head off of a living raw fish right now. That's fine. <laughs> yep, you're able to stomach it. Barely. It's, it's disgusting, but I bite it off and I throw it back. <laughs> Alright. I didn't know where you had grog. Right. <laughs> 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 they seem mildly impressed. <laughs> Is that the DM talking or the the orcs? <laughs> yeah, little column A, little column B. <laughs> when the dice act well in your favor, it's amazing. <laughs> what you doing in our home? Um, we're looking for some adventurers. They've got lost around here, young boy. Ah, suddenly he's a mimic as well. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> sorry, Alan. We're looking some for our friends. Oh, They've got lost in here. <laughs> Who was that Mickey Mouse last up <laughs> there? <laughs> that was Larissa. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I'm sorry, okay. Uh, <laughs> threw me off there with the changes in voices. Alright. <laughs> He's going through puberty. Damn it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, uh, I'm finding no boys here. None living anyway. But we don't mean you guys no harm. <laughs> we'll just be on our way, alright? <laughs> you best. <laughs> And that's it? Yeah, they go back to their fire and start grumbling and orcish again. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and so we get the fuck out of here very quickly. Yep, and while they were doing that, I was so, actually investigating along the path. <laughs> and I, I wait until the other's gone and I leave last. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep, that you do. And along this path, you've been sitting here, or standing here rather, waiting for them to come by. Mm-hmm. 
And as I change my music. Uh oh. I can't believe that fucking worked. <laughs> <laughs> Neither can I. <laughs> I. I knew jumping in that water was a good idea. Uh oh. You find a massive chamber full of broken debris <laughs> weapons and arms discarded armor and tatters clothes torn to shreds mm -mm. signs of signs of many many a battle littered across an enormous chasmous room how old are these uh, wounds on the whatever armor is here uh, it's tough to see say at a basic glance i'd say make an investigation check okay i'm going well, to check to see if any of my armor is better than what i'm wearing uh well you don't have to investigate to tell that all this armor is ripped to shit oh okay mm -hmm. back in your box <laughs> <laughs> Get so back in I your know? box, <laughs> Fine, I'm gonna hang out with these guys. These guys are my buddies. Your job, the lawn is waiting. <laughs> Should I do a perception uh, check? You can if you'd like. So what does my investigation uh, produce uh, from it's, uh, it's tough to say. Anywhere from... Uh, anywhere from uh, fairly recent. Somewhere between a week to maybe a few days. Oh, to fuck me, Larissa. Fucking god. Uh, I think she won't, thank you. <laughs> nope. This is Twitch, mind you. <laughs> Alright, yeah, sorry. My bad. Chris, both calm and down. Yeah, yeah it's it's friendly. Friendly. At least we know uh, that this is uh, probably one of the whatever is uh, causing this. Yes, I think we found the cause of the missing people. Oh. Not entirely. Not but entirely the cause. Yes. But where they uh, they were spirited away to. Mm -hmm. Before we do, um, does Crystal have any healing abilities that she can restore the last five HP of mine before we go in? <laughs> she does, but does she choose to use them? Hey, Crystal, can you give me my five yeah. HP? Sure. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see if she does. She might roll a four. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Did my perception check bring you out anything? Uh, she does heal you for full, though. Okay, cool. And with that, the warlock's the only one with the spell slot. Alright. Um, oh, Did the 26 <laughs> perception um, bring anything the out? The natural 20 on perception means that you can see that there are fine details in here. That beyond the gouges of, uh, of sword blades into the ground, arrows broken off at the shaft, sticking into the walls, there are several other marks here. Marks that you've seen from magic, much like your own. Okay. Spontaneous combustions, th things eroded from constant and harsh temperature changes, and even claw marks along the walls. Whatever made, Fucking dragon. Whatever made, most, of, whatever made most of these marks was not human. Well, I'm going to investigate some of the claw marks to see uh, what I can uh, discern from that. This will be a nature be, check uh, for you then. Hmm? Nature? This will be a nature check for you then, because you're trying to determine what made them. Okay. Maybe Larissa should do that as well. She's our rolling queen. Nah. Well, well, not, <laughs> it's, it's not like everyone's going to, it's not like everyone gets a shot at every roll until they succeed. No. The uh, best you can tell, it does seem native to this plane of existence. But beyond that, it could have been the dire wolves, it could be some other kind of creature that lives in caves, you're not sure which. So I guess we better head on in. <laughs> That's one way. 
I'm having a very bad feeling about this. I got a bad feeling too. And I'm a crazy one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, the DM, doing that. no, the DM's the crazy one. <laughs> so we, we've we've done a, is it a giant chicken? Fucking giant chicken. Um. Yes, it's the KFC logo. <laughs> <laughs> right. So yes. um, final enemy, the colonel. <laughs> I'm just thinking, uh, is there anything around here we should be looking for looting or before we start? Uh, is, there, just... is there anything you're in particular searching for? What? Is my shield wooden or metal? Yours would be metal. Okay, that's fine then. Um, the only one with the shield made of wood would be uh, non. Because druids can't use metal shields. Get it. Um, you would be the first ever paladin with the wooden shield if that was the case. And he would be the most crispy one. <laughs> so we've got a fire-breathing guy coming in. We should probably look for something that's going to help mitigate that before we go in. Well, back to the matter of the claw mark. Are they uh, are they large claw marks or are they small? Uh, they're very deep, so I would say large. Ugh. Are we able to see the trap? Not what? sure what you're going to do here. Maybe we should try and set a trap for when the thing comes in. <laughs> you could certainly try. Don't know what that would be. Um, well, I've already done an investigation and didn't really show anything, so... Might as well just head on in, unless someone else wants to do something. Okay. Right. Now proceed a bit further. At the end of right. this vast chasmous graveyard of the battlefield. Hey behind me guys. You see another crossroads. One that seems different, however. Hmm. One passage leads to the north, continuing on as most had. But from the path to the left, you see a faint light. Hmm. What is it? A uh, light from outside, or is it a light from the campfire? Something else. Just a light. <laughs> Might be a good idea to go and do do this. An arcane check. Uh, the light doesn't seem to be magical in any way. Hmm. Well, that's one less concern then. <laughs> Is there, Are there any footprints now? on the ground? Uh, faint ones. Going up or down? I'll say make a survival left. check. Uh, few go in both directions, though few are going towards where the light led to. More coming from, though, oddly enough. From the light. So that's probably just... Eh? Yeah. So which way do you think? I'm thinking we should go check out what the light is. Alright, I think we should head north. <laughs> well, well, it's a good thing that Larissa's choice didn't matter and Nantashu's did. Sorry, Sorry. Nantashu. Nantashu says we should check out the light. We all know what never Larissa's like when we get into tunnels and stuff, so... Alright, looks like we're yeah, going to... this it. isn't Larissa. That's the whole beauty of D&D. You can be <laughs> someone you're not. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out the light. What did the bug say to the light again? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, wait for the light. <laughs> I can't help it. It's so I beautiful. Can... 
insert weapons. Oh! As you begin to approach, you notice, oddly enough, grass forming upon the ground. Ooh. Which is very out of place in this stone cave. And the light begins to grow brighter. So you come upon a clearing. Oh. Oh. With a single tree with bark very well nurtured and trees almost an emerald green. The bark between, almost a shimmering gold. Very out of place. With a singular hole in the, in the roof of this cave leading towards a skylight. In which you can see... Just the last few bits of daylight shining through. You gonna do a nature check, Larissa? Larissa. Oh, sorry. Nana, would you like to do a nature check? <laughs> 17. This tree, from what you can gather, has been, t has been taken care of immaculately well, but for something of this kind of growth to have occurred... Hmm. ...can't have been simply by typical gardening methods. Some sort of natural-born magic was involved in this, though you're not sure what. Some people... Uh, some of the druids who you grew up with were able to help nurture plants and flowers and trees and such. Mm. Some even told stories of, uh, of the eldest and most powerful druids becoming trees at the end of their lives. But this is something unlike you've ever seen. An odd moment of pristine beauty in this otherwise scarred landscape. Hmm. Pretty. Try and talk to the tree, Nana. I can't talk to the tree. To be a druid. Anyone can talk to a tree. <laughs> It's just that Crystal has a bad reputation with them. Um. Did you want to do an arcane check, someone? Well, you already know it's magical. The nature yeah. check showed that. Yeah. It's just a matter of her sharing it with you. Um. Is there something we can use the tree? Or can we try and talk to it? Sure, you can talk to the tree. Now reach the tree! <laughs> when I should try Russell through its leaves and it seems to whisper almost mm. um, I'll place my hand on the tree and try and listen to the whispering mm. and the whispering winds that flow through the leaves seem to continue on a few of them flowing gently around you. Hmm. One of them landing directly on your forehead, and a singular word appears in your mind. Hmm. And it's a druidic word. A word that means sorrow. Dru druidic means multiple things with singular words. It can the word for sorrow can also mean redemption, it can also mean hope, but it can also mean grief. Which meaning was not entirely something you could pick up, but yet the feeling that this tree was meant as an atonement. And as you open your eyes, you feel a slight warmth beneath your hand. And the golden bark of this tree, where your hand once was, now has a tiny, almost imperceptible, scribbling of druidic in the bark. Mm. But you're able to make it out. It's a word for redemption. 
años. And just beneath that, there's a date. It goes back many years. Almost decades, even. Mm. We cut the tree down? No. Have <laughs> some leaves or something? No. Tiny. Down. Go back to your box. <laughs> <laughs> well, can, is there something on there that we can use, like potions or something? I just like to take a moment to point out that the gnome is where he belongs on the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I've been waiting all night for that. Oh man. Here you guys. He needs a pointy hat now. <laughs> well, we can put a Kemper on his head. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> the animal oh, agrees with me. Animal uh, says kill the tree, it's evil. See, I agree. I think we should cut it down or at least try and use its leaves to make medicine. No, it leaves the tree alone. And actually, while this is going on... I'm the tree didn't do anything to you. <laughs> I'm going to actually just... look at the, the roots of the tree. Okay, looking for anything specific? Well... With a tree growing underground with, with a spotlight, it would need to be fertilized by something more than just the sunlight and the rain that comes through. Mm. I'll say make a nature check and an arcana check. Okay. Nature check. Okay. And an arcana check. Wow, there you go. Okay, the combination of those two, you, are, you do know that trees don't normally grow in places where they don't have sufficient nutrients, water, fertilizer, ways to get their seeds around and such. This tree is certainly magical in some sense, but not in a way that you've ever seen before. Except for one place you wandered through briefly, and you heard tale of certain arcane or even divine casters who can seemingly enrich the land just by being there for a certain amount of time. And even tales of dark, malevolent creatures who can turn the most bountiful lands into barren waste fields just by residing in the area. You gather this brief patch of land is under the effects of such a spell as that will sanctify this area. A moment of reprieve. Almost as if the ground is hallowed. I think we should... Will we, like, rest here? Do a short rest? Maybe that will help rejuvenate us. Unfortunately, I would have to agree, because, well... Us casters are a little bit tapped. <laughs> well, it does take a long rest to recover spell thoughts. Except for the warlock here, who hasn't spent hers. <laughs> I was going to say, if, so they if they're on a, so they a magical land like that, that's hollowed, would that speed up the the magic points or not? No, but I will. It's a bit spoilery, but it's a tutorial, and we've only got about an hour left, so yeah, I'll say this is a safe place to take a long rest. Okay. okay. Did you guys want to keep moving then, or keep it? We have a rest Probably here. best to take that rest and... Yeah, so you guys can get your spell slots back then. And when the amount of time I need to go and get my spell slots back, I'll go and uh, watch the entrance to this. Just to be uh, safe. Yeah. Alright. Oh. Yes. Alright. While you do that, I'm going to investigate the case that we can use medical-wise or potion wise So, Ooh. do I just change my spell slots back to two or, or one or? Yeah, back to two. That's how many you have left. Yeah. Sorry, you were you were looking for what exactly? Um, anything that we can use later on, like 
potions or mushrooms or something like that. Uh, there really is neat. a small there is a small crown that you can find with that twenty, made of mistletoe resting on one branch. But aside from that, nothing of note. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> so I I investigate it further. Mm, no, it seems to be a regular old crown of mistletoe. Basically a flower I, crown, but it's mistletoe instead of like daisies or dandelions or what have you. Okay. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna give it to the druid. Okay. You hand you a druid. crown made of mistletoe. Okay, I accept the mistletoe. <laughs> oh, oh wait, you know what happens under mistletoes? Then I'll whack Tiny on the head when he tries to kiss me. You're not going to be able to reach anyway. <laughs> yeah, right in the kisser. <laughs> that's why they got. That's why there's mistletoe. <laughs> All right, should we head off? Or is there something else we need to do with the tree? Not that you're aware of, though you do know that uh, in certain ceremonies, a uh, mistletoe crown is normally left somewhere as a sign of respect for a burial. Right. I probably should put the mistletoe back. <laughs> I knew she was going to do that. Mm. What? No. Whether it's there or not, it's placed there to cleanse the land, essentially. Okay. Once it's, once it's placed and the ritual is complete, most only leave it there as a sign of courtesy. Whether it's taken or not is completely up to the wielder. Some carry mistletoe crowns from one funeral to the next as a family ceremonial rite. Others leave it there for eternity until the crown withers away. We should take it with us so we can write our own site. Yeah. Alright, I'll... Or you can leave it. I'll keep it and she gave it to me. It's so hard to take your gift. Alright. Oh. Alright, let's head on. Yep. Onward you go. Yeah, I wanted to kill the tree animal, that wouldn't let me. It's anime, and no. <laughs> oh, anime is. <clears throat> right then. So, come up to another crossroads. Oops. There are more footprints leading up to the north. But there are no footprints to the southeast, but there are deep gouges in the floor. Hmm. I'll have anyone who wants to make a survival check. Probably not me, I don't have a very survival. I'll, I'll do survival. Oh, fuck yeah. Wow. <laughs> hmm. Nice. Seems as if some, seems as if this was dug over the course of, uh, of a long while, as if something was dragged over and over. Yeah. It's hot. Hmm. Can we see any further into the tunnel for you to a perception check? Uh, you can see a bit further. You can see that it does go on just a bit further and then seems to widen out, so you don't know what there is beyond it. What about to That's the north? To the north? More or less the same. Hmm. Where's the drag mark? Is that just uh, leading to the southeast? Yes. We may want to go in the traverse that way, even if it may be a little more hairy. <laughs> I am. Um, I'm voting on the the southeast. All right. This traverse a bit further. The floor seems to slope 
down at an angle. And, uh... Vias, I'm gonna need you to make me a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Good as that? Oh, uh, yeah. Yay. Twenty-one. Okay. That was for Athena. Me. I think that's. I thought you said Tobias. Sorry, my bad. Uh, I, yeah, it was Tobias that I said. Oh, uh, sorry. I can do it. <laughs> Fourteen. All right. That's well, still enough. You. Yeah, you hear a, a a clattering beneath your foot, but you're able to draw back in time. <laughs> uh, before falling or anything and uh, as you steady yourself your eyes are quickly met with oh, great. horror as you see a pile is a mass grave oh no think of all the loot dozens, of, dozens upon dozens of half gnawed partially decayed bodies, piles of bones, splintered limbs scattered across in a grand pile. <laughs> Is there anything uh, above, the, uh, on the ceiling of the cave there? Splatters of dried blood. Uh... <sighs> and disturbingly enough, hanging by an optic nerve is one partially decayed eye. Aww. Ooh. Lovely. <laughs> I, w I will actually slowly mo make my Just... way down into it and actually investigate. <laughs> okay. I'll Smells stop you. <laughs> Grab me the eye. <laughs> well, Grab me the eye. You can't reach. Everything. <laughs> All right. Make an investigation check. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. All right. Underneath all of this detritus and awful, you find one thing that is somewhat intact. A small doll made of straw with raven black hair. <laughs> well, I examine the doll. I, I check it uh, for... What kind of material it is? Is it like a, is there something? I just said it's a straw doll. <laughs> no, no, no. I I mean not just the the outside of it. I'm gonna actually prod into it and see if there's anything there as well. Seems to be a typical straw doll. Why is there a yeah, straw doll? Well, probably a kid is in there. That was the kid's skull. Oh. Kid body. That is, that is the skull you tripped over. Ooh, there we go. Can I take the skull? No, leave it. Okay, what, does the, what do I learn from uh, examining the eye? Uh, you gather that there's an eye that got splattered on the ceiling. So that was it? Yeah, pretty much just for gothic gross faster. Lovely. But okay. Um, uh, do I any learn anything of? Uh, yes, I've learned that they they were not. But uh, does it look like it was many th different things uh, gnawing upon it, or was it uh, just one creature with the same kind of that? Uh... I'm gonna need you to roll me one hell of a medicine check. Uh, okay. <laughs> No. <laughs> Tough to tell at this point. <laughs> Tough to tell. Ugh. Okay. I like what the other I couldn't end earn, Not not much else I could go and uh, find out from the the bone. Oh, it does feel slightly homey though, to you specifically. Well, well lovely. <laughs> yeah, there, yeah, there's blood like we... everywhere. It's it's like your bedroom. Very much so. Well, right. while this is... Uh, while Take this that is how you will, chat. chat. <laughs> I, I will actually go and uh, take time to go and uh, give a prayer to uh, my patron. 
in regards to this grave. All right. And then I I return to the group. That's all right. So let me to whisper something for a moment here. Oh, will allow me to type something that will appear only to the player I can question. So with that, you all move on, I assume? Yeah. Uh, yep. All right. That move into the final room. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Vast open expanse. Leads up to a large stone pedestal. Seems to have been carved fairly recently. Was on the pedestal, or religious wise, or whatnot? A series of different symbols with which you're unfamiliar. None, however, can recognize these as druidic symbols, often used in protective spells. However, the scrawling on them is in a light, is in a hand that is unfamiliar to you. You recognize the runes, but not the writing. Okay. Should we check out, make sure there's no traps before we head too much further in? Make an investigation check. Doesn't appear to be traps anywhere. Do you want to check it out, Bruce? Oh, no. Can I on you? Uh, no, no, neither. I didn't really do much. <laughs> I investigate the altar. It seems to have some sort of minor druidic magic it's from what you can remember it's a ceremony often used by children to help promote sweet dreams mm -hmm. though it's never usually done on this grand scale yeah okay on the altar on the altar there is one item a scrawled leather tome open to a certain page, the dialect that you don't recognize, though it matches the runes on the altar. Okay, do I, I look at the book? Or the words on the altar, not the runes, sorry. Oh, the words, my okay, bad never mind. <laughs> yeah, my bad on that one. Hmm. Um... Maybe put the flowers on there. The mistletoe. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, I'll place the mistletoe on the altar. <laughs> okay. Uh, the mistletoe seems to shift. In a non-existent breeze, mm. for some peculiar reason. And as it does, 
In a brief moment, the words on the pages become clear. Ooh. You spend a few moments flipping through scrawlings of various different words, making out fragments of sentences, but none coherent, very repetitive, almost like the ramblings of a madman. What is over here? <laughs> I was wondering when someone would ask. <laughs> I did say that. Yes. Well, I'm looking at the book. Maybe the others will investigate what's over there. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Funny she should mention that. As you approach this area, uh, you're allowed. Cave and a low rumble. And suddenly, <laughs> oh, no. my man's here. Early, <laughs> early form that swipes at you with a claw out of the darkness. Seven points of slashing damage. To me, I take it. Yep, you are the closest one to it. Lovely. <laughs> and I go in the. I guess I could do in response a hellish rebuke. If you'd like to. Very much so. All right. And go ahead and cast it. Level one, so. Okay, the deck save on his part. What happened? Uh, it's a dexterity save on his part, or he... <laughs> Natural 20, alright. So he takes half damage, so that will be... Some fire damage to him, okay. And now that the surprise is done, I have all of you roll initiative. And to get yourself on the initiative order automatically, you click your token, then click the initiative on your character sheet. Um. Oh, lovely! Oh god, three? <laughs> what is wrong with you, buddy? Well, this is going to go swimmingly. <laughs> yeah. That it is. Ooh, we're fucked. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And I'm first on the menu, apparently. <laughs> All right. Birch now it strikes at you again with its claw. Ooh. Uh, 23, that'll hit. Ouch. Ooh. Dealing 10 points of slashing damage. That'll drop you to unconsciousness, wow. but not death. No, but I am fairly, fairly low. It was so, dead. we had to move the uh, second, if you drop the best below, If you drop below zero, you've dropped to zero, essentially. Okay. Unless it, unless it has an excess damage that is equal to your maximum hit points, in which case it is instantaneous death. But in it your case, one... you... Yeah, one away from that. It was one point shy. <laughs> <laughs> The bear, then, the bear will then charge up towards the uh, tiny armored figure. <laughs> that will bring us to none. Okay. There's um, a bear here. Yes, there's a bear here. 
You want to do a nature check? Or an animal handling check? I think I could try... Would Beast Bond work with this? You could certainly try. Let me check the specifics on Beast Bond. Uh, I believe that's on something that is friendly towards you or charmed yeah. by you. Ah, uh, yeah. You, pr- you gather that as it's trying to tear through, yeah, your, it's not, through yeah. your allies, it's not exactly a friend at this point. You could have done that on the wolf, I could have had a mount. God damn it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the speak with animals will work either. <laughs> nah, it's on good. That's right, we'll fight it. Um. I think I might try with um, Frostbite again and slow it down. Frostbite doesn't slow it, but it does give it disadvantage, and you're welcome to try it. So that means it has to make a constitution saving throw. Oops. 13. What is your spell save DC? Uh, 14. Alright, so it passes, so it takes four points of cold damage. Disadvantage on the next attack. Okay, cool. Alright. Crystal. Yeah, Crystal. (laughs) Yeah. What would you like to do? (laughs) Can I move a little bit closer? Closer to whom exactly? Um, Nana. That you can. Okay, um... I guess I'll use Sacred Flame on the bear. Alright. That's a deck <laughs> save on its part. Uh, it's an 11. And that does not beat your spell save DC, so he's gonna take some Sacred Flame damage. One point of radiant damage. Okay. Come <laughs> called bloods there, laughing like a madman. <laughs> well, unconscious. Oh. Well, I'm uh, I'm unconscious on the floor, gurgling blood pot potentially. <laughs> She's just choking on her blood, like my God, I'm delicious. <laughs> 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 I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need art of that. That's great. <laughs> All right, Tobias. All right. So a little, little bit out of the box thinking. <laughs> My cobwebs that I picked up at the start of the game. If I throw it at the bear, would it trap it in cobwebs? You probably grabbed about a handful. <laughs> It's gonna take a lot more than that to stop a bear. It, it would close its mouth shut and it, it'd suffocate and die. You could certainly try. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be one hell of a roll. <laughs> what would I have to roll? Uh, I'm gonna say you're gonna need to roll one hell of an athletics check. Oh. I have five points in athletics. You guys think it's worth it? Up to you. Fuck it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Let's try it. So, I throw the cobweb to try and shut its mouth, and so it will suffocate and die. Ah! <laughs> 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 it splats against the wall behind it. <laughs> Uh, All right, and I will keep myself. Actually, leave myself there. <laughs> Protect you guys a bit better. Ravina, I need you to click the text on your character sheet marked "Death Saving Throws." Yep. Mark one success. You're one step Woo-hoo. closer to stabilizing. <laughs> but your life is still in danger. Can the bear still attack her or not? It can if it chooses to, but right now it has something that tried to throw something at her. It doesn't like awesome. that. Awesome. <laughs> Come at me, bro. And it intends to do just that. Oh, I have my shield out, by the way. It just... Yep. 
Yeah. AC is 18. Okay. I'm aware. Yeah. Uh, 19 will hit, though. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'm a tank. I got this. Eight points of slashing damage. All right. And that will be... Uh... And then it's going to attempt a bite attack, but for some reason the specs on that are not here. So I will have to look into that through manual research. Does it have to be closer? Or does it can attack diagonal? Uh, uh, it's a matter of the specs are not on roll 20 right now, which means that I have to look them up manually. But no matter. I have the books on hand, luckily enough for me. Because <laughs> I'm a nerd like that. <laughs> We're all nerds here. <laughs> Yay, butts! <laughs> I can love you sometimes, Elena. <laughs> <laughs> Could be worse. You could be gurgling in blood on the floor. That sounds like a pretty good day to you. <laughs> yeah, everyone thinks she's dying. Nah, she's just drunk and having the time of her life. <laughs> oh. Okay, here we go. Alright, so that's... Alright, that's what the command is, okay. Uh, yeah, it also chomps at you. 21 will hit as well. Can I use my lay on hands? Uh, as an action on your turn you can. Ah, oh, okay. So that's another four points of damage. It's eight slashing and four piercing. Oh, exactly enough to zero. Yeah. yeah. All right. You're, you're unconscious as well. Oh no! Wonderful. No. Ah. <laughs> All right, Mr. Oh boy. You're the one with the you're senpai the photo. <laughs> yes. yes. Actually, I am. <laughs> Okay. Um. What should I do here? Can Larissa heal me while I'm unconscious? <laughs> Give me back she up. She can. Probably try that, Larissa. Uh, and she does have healing word. <laughs> well, there's a bear about to come down and attack me. <laughs> if I'm in it, but I'll be resurrected, I'll be in its way again. Fine, he can get up on his turn. Oh, he can get up on one turn? Well, he can get up on his turn once you restore him to hell, but get up off the ground. Right now he's prone. Right. So, is there any point in me healing him, or should I actually try and attack the bear? It's a body in front of you. Good point. <laughs> you don't have to outrun the bear, you just have to outrun the gnome. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> Um, Which, frankly, is not very difficult. <laughs> just be taller. <laughs> Alright, so, seven hit points. We're now conscious again. Um, before we end, because uh, Rusha still has a move turn, don't you? Sorry? Uh, she has, She does have a move still. Do you want to try and, and run back to the tree? And she does have her action, because healing words is a bonus action. However, I will point out that you cannot use two spells in the same turn. You can only use a cantrip that requires an action if you use a bonus action spell. So I can cast Frostbite? You could if you'd like to. Yeah, I'll cast Frostbite at the um, bear. Alright. Let's so make a constitution saving throw then. How much health does the bear have left? Uh, you could look at that. Oh, fails to save. Go ahead and roll. Uh, 23. I don't that much then. 17 health left now. And he has disadvantage on his next attack. Alright. Crystal, it is your turn. Unless none wants to move somewhere. No, I'll stay where I am. I think it's best spot for the moment. Okay. Um. Um. Can I move over to, uh, Rathena? You can. I'll do that and use cure wounds! <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> that sounded so happy! <laughs> Alright, so 
Seven hit points. Welcome back to the land of the conscious. <laughs> You're still on your ass. <laughs> Tobias! <laughs> It'll take you half your movement to stand up, but you can. Tobias! Oh, now, oh, yeah, I'll stand up. I'll see. Lay on hands. Does that count as an action, or is that a spell? It does take your action to use that. Right, yeah, I'll use. I'll stand up, and I'll use my lay on hands on myself. Alright, all five points, I assume? Yes. Alright. I'm gonna bring it to 12. Full health. Come at me, baby. Alright. Rudina! You're conscious! Oh shit, there's a bear there. Yes! Yes, I see that! And. <laughs> you should start running now. Into me, I am not exactly in the sane of position. I decided to chomp the closest leg of the bear. You're going to bite the bear. Yes, yes I am. Okay then, I actually have to look at your specs now for that. <laughs> oh, damn it. it just got you alive again, and you just got to fucking... Okay, fair enough. You're the one who jumped into water, which I could see those creatures in it. I told you to do an HP to find out what they were, and you're like, nah. It's not quite how the rules work here, but I'm gonna say make a... <laughs> Make a athletics check to see if you can grapple onto it first. Okay. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Let's see if it can beat a natural 20 with a natural 20. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, so you just cling onto its leg and chomp onto it. You deal one point of damage to it. And then you see its vigor drain from its face as you deal four points of necrotic damage as you suck the life out of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so wrong. <laughs> well done! Now, as he's still holding on, does the bear have to do a um, skill test to get rid of him before he can attack him? Technically. Uh, it does not because it has the ability to attack other people near it, which it will use. Okay. So it's going to first uh, attempt to chomp at the person on its leg. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Uh, um, gee, the text on the side is just basically our numbers ro rolling. Um, We'll have to try and read that out more. Yes, and it is attacking with disadvantage because of that frostbite from earlier. Uh, 20 will still hit you, I imagine. I would imagine so. Oh, I'm rolling the wrong dice. That that would probably help. <laughs> probably. I did the math in my head. It's one d six plus two, not one d eight. Ah, the difference is your consciousness. <laughs> it does six damage instead of uh, eight, so you have one hit point. <laughs> it, you bit it. It bit you back. Mm -hmm. Difference is you sucked its life out. <laughs> <laughs> And, it's swing, and then it swings at Tobias. <laughs> Bring it, buddy. Oh Sorry. no. Uh, 15, that will actually be knocked away by your shield. Yeah, there will be. Alright. None. Um, now your turn. I was thinking maybe I should fire a spell out, try and. Well, how, much, how many attack points does that left? Still a few. Hit points, you mean? Hit points. Uh, yeah. it's looking pretty rough. Okay. 
I might go. You do, have an offensive, you do have an offensive spell in Thunder Wave, but you do have to get pretty close. Otherwise, you'd be catching Tobias in the crossfire. Good point. <laughs> move <laughs> down, and that way you can move to, to it. You can move to the right one space and use it effectively. Right to the one space? You yeah, here? Right one space, yep, and then you can cast Thunder Wave if you'd like. Did I do that correctly? Uh, let's see, Thunder Wave. Yes, you did. So it needs to make a Constitution saving throw to reduce the damage or, and not get pushed. And your spell save DC is 14, 14. correct? Yep. Well, rolled an 11, so yeah, he takes the full six points. Thunder damage. Bleeding profusely and is then t pushed ten feet back. <laughs> Dragging the warlock Sorry. along with it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Alright. That's what hell of a tap. <laughs> yeah, it is. Boom. Crystal. Yes. Is this the kill steal? Possibly. Because I want to use burning hands. <laughs> I assume you want to move to a point where you won't catch the warlock. Yeah. Attack. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need her to die. In the tutorial? <laughs> yeah, I imagine that would be ideal. <laughs> so, Alright. So, up to here, and Burning Hands, your bread and butter spell. Or in this case, bread and melted butter. Or toast and melted butter, really. <laughs> Let's see, that'll be 8 points of damage if it fails its deck save. And it does! <laughs> How do you want to do this? Oh, okay! You're not bad at me! I will burn you next! <laughs> How do you want to do this? Huh! You stretch your fingers out, the fire extends from your hand. How do you want to finish this guy off? I mean, it just burns him? <laughs> oh my god! What is that? Alright, alright, alright. It's my job to, emph to emphasize it, so allow me. The warlock still on its leg, just clamping down with her <laughs> fangs into the into the uh, <laughs> arm of this enormous bear that just got blasted back by thunder. You rush up, extend your hands as gouts of fire spread forth from it, as it snarls in pain and turns its maw open towards you, almost ready to bite. And you send this fire straight down its throat, igniting it from the inside out as it starts clawing at its own head, trying to tear away the pain that just sets it ablaze as its skin begins to fall off. Do I have to make a That's thing throw true. against and fire? Then <laughs> things, and then things change. Uh-oh. And the bear's form shrinks Funny? as the hair seems to burn away. And in its place, it's a much smaller, smaller, sizzling form. Just barely larger than your gnome friend behind you. The baby. That then, fall, that then falls to the ground. Motionless. Aww. I need you to make yeah. a history check. Hey. And I just remembered I have to make that history check because I'm playing her. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, you bunch of baby killers. God. Nine. Anyone else? 
Going once? Going twice? I'll try. <laughs> you don't know your name. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you back in my office? <laughs> Why is my wife on fire? <laughs> that dude's a bit of a tart. Yes. <laughs> hey, I know what the capital of Ireland is. With an, eight, with an 18. Yeah, you've tasted this before. I mean, seen these before. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this form is dwarven in nature, but the pale skin tone and the dark, black, sprawling hair, you recognize this to be a Durgar. But the one key port point of it is that, despite being in its humanoid form, there are small, broken antlers at its head. Much like the ones that your friend the druid has. Okay. Should I move closer? Lovely. You can. Um, what should I do? Leave the body. Roast Sorry? Roast marshmallows on the burning corpse? <laughs> What I do? <laughs> Druids, waste I, not, want not. Break out the fucking marshmallows, man. I want a s'more. I, I, I got the <laughs> ring of flowers. Alright, that you do. Um, and I, move, I extract myself from the leg and go and remove myself from the burning corpse. Good idea. And after check, checking the loot for uh, the corpse for loot, is there anything on it? Uh, mm, there is... Nothing of value to you, okay. per se. The only thing that could possibly be considered of value is what, oddly enough, fell out of the side of the bear, which is a single gnarled staff of, of tree bark that almost appears golden, much like the tree. Ooh. Okay, I'll take that. Wait, what? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you had your chance. Okay, I, I give the flowers to Nana and the staff to Nana. It's going to sound going to knock you over the head and take it to herself. <laughs> and then I make out with Nana. No, you will not. <laughs> Once I've composed myself, I actually go in. Oh my god, that brings back a flashback, doesn't it, Crystal? <laughs> yeah! Okay, okay. why? Well, she played this with her. She played this with her boyfriend once, and at the end of the session, he was like, uh, I take Crystal over to the corner and we bang. And her character was 16, he was 24. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna whack Tani over the head before he kisses me. <laughs> I know. His, 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 the best part was his response. I don't care if she's your character or not. Change, make her age up so I can sleep with her guilt free. <laughs> I need a restraining order now! Okay, well, I'm going to give the flowers and the stuff to Nana, and then I'm actually going to be the only one in the party who seems to care that Rife is near dead, and I'm going to go look after Rife and help mend some of the moons and stop the profuse bleeding everywhere. Yeah, she is licking her die. wounds. She is hungrily licking her wounds. Yes. <laughs> so before we all slip on her blood and die, I'm going to help bandage some of those wounds. Okay, well, I'm going to right. check out this form. Um, hmm? I didn't quite catch that. I'm going to check out this person. Yeah, it's a Durgar druid with broken antlers. Yeah. What should I do? Well, check it out. Do, um, do I need to do a check or? What do you want to do? Um, I approach the form. And I don't know. <laughs> Check if it has any loot for you. No, well, you start up about the loot. Oh. There's a being here. All right. Well, if you don't want to check for anything, uh, put the flowers on it. Okay. Um. Okay. 
All right. As you place the flower crown upon it, nothing happens. Okay. A moment passes. Another moment passes. Just as you believe nothing is going to happen, the fires almost instantaneously extinguish themselves. Hmm. And the form begins to become more rigid. At an alarming rate, it seems to harden the skin, regaining some of its color, but a much deeper hue. Instead of the pale white the Dorgon normally has, it becomes more of an oaky brown. And you'll realize, almost as it completes, that this man is petrifying himself. Uh -huh. A small twig, a small sapling sprout, forms just above his heart on the back of the body. And in it, you can barely see, in the veins of the leaf, a druidic term for thanks. Aww. Oh, then a better jewel than a jewel. Jesus Christ. Well, I approach yeah. and I go and offer a prayer to uh, my patron to request knowledge of uh, why this this would occur in such a place. What okay, would make a religion so check. Hmm? Make a religion check. Okay. Would you like to be assist? <laughs> Uh, you don't even know what her patron is. This is the first time that all the four of you have met. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, surprised you all knew each I'm surprised you all knew each other's names, to be honest. We introduced each other before we went into the cave. Yeah, I know. I'm just messing. <laughs> we probably should have done that. We did introduce usually, each other. Would... Yeah. And usually uh, with a hey, good, you're alive. By the way, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> And usually with a group, uh, when they're starting out, they usually try to actually actively inter introduce themselves. Hmm. Yeah, but this group's unusual. This is true. <laughs> a whole that, lot of crazies and I not enough uh, saints. I was half expecting Nan to use Tobias as a weapon. <laughs> I was waiting for that as well. I wanted that, but it never came up. Mm, no. Did a yeah. bear form. I can't do bear form yet. Yeah, all right. So I walk past and slap Crystal on the ass and say, thanks for the healing, babe. And I scooch on the dead bear tree. Roll a lawsuit check. Okay. I'm kidding. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it works. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't Give think you can one. roll privilege. And even if you can, you're more than 50 years of upper. <laughs> <laughs> right, is there any... you, fondle your, you, you fondle yourself. Yes. <laughs> I'm good with that as well. <laughs> How you do that through your armor, no one knows. Okay, so what it's one of my many talents. Right, so is there anything now? you want to do? Well, did you want to do anything with the jeweled tree body or so, or do you want to head off? We'll say, we'll say for the interest of brevity, because it is currently midnight for me here, and I still have work in the morning. <laughs> Uh, you all uh, take a moment to rest and uh, record and actually map down what you've discovered of the cave. Go back and explore a few extra areas, which I'll reveal for you, and head back to the officials, revealing to you what has happened. And with a bit of religious insight and some careful examinations, you gather that this Duragar left the Underdark, the realm beneath, where every... Uh, where everything uh, everything bad essentially tends to live. Things like uh, mind flayers and uh, drought and, and slave trackers, slave traffickers, rather, all tend to dwell there. He descended from there, but a druid is something that is not normally looked at as, as such a dark entity. Mm. And with such a confliction, it drove him mad. And the... 
and the tree was something brought by his magics. Okay. As a burial for someone who possibly could have come with him. Hmm. And the madness drove him to enter his animalistic form, unable to wake from it. Unable to cope with the realities of being. Uh, the, the abomination that he once was. He chose to dwell in the natural realm and become an animal. That's cool. And they will all reward you with, if we choose to start an actual campaign, yeah. a health potion each, 50 Ooh. gold pieces. Ooh. That was fun. I actually really enjoyed that. That was awesome. I did too. And so thank you to our DM, um, uh, Crimson, for taking us through as well and being patient with my... <laughs> <laughs> collection it, of fish and cobwebs. <laughs> it, I'm not gonna lie, it was trying at times. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really thought those orcs were gonna have us fucked up, and I thought, oh, no, actually, I, apparently I knew one back in my college days, so, or religious college days, so, I'll give it a go, I can't believe that yeah. fucking worked. <laughs> You were probably it, was, it wasn't supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I rolled a natural one on insight. Oh, that was fantastic. And I was like, um That was not supposed to go down the way it did with those orcs. <laughs> although I'm glad although I'm glad I got you to insult his mother. Yeah. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Just like yeah, That's sure, a normal orcish greed. Say Everyone your, knows that. Yes, go ahead. Say you're greeting an orcish. You've insulted his mother. He wants to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you don't know the language. It's like, it's like hola, como estas? Means, hello, I am the butt man. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you read, Chris. This is why you learn. <laughs> it's fine. It works. It works. I only died I almost once. I have an intelligence of six. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <right. laughs> yeah, it was fun. Well, yes, we'll, yes, we'll, we'll have to do that again. Um, what did you guys think, guys, watching this? Did you guys enjoy it? A bit long and drawn out, but also I'm a bit tired. This was more just a tutorial to help show everybody yes. the ropes. Yes. A campaign proper. Whether whether on Twitch or not, I'm no I'm no genius. This is like I haven't even been DMing for a year. It's been like four or five months. You've done an awesome It was kind of thrust yeah. upon me. Yeah, you did a good job, Nigel. We really enjoyed it. So, um, even if we do a campaign, we may not stream the whole thing. Uh, depends on what people uh, thought watching, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought that was awesome. Yeah. I um, can't wait for another one. It was definitely yep. And I noticed that she knew was in the, uh, in the audience, and I must point out that I am working on brewing up Ruby content for D&D that I would be willing to add in. Mm. Things like Faunus and perhaps Huntresses at some point. It's gonna take some work though. Yeah. I've got Faun yes. I've got Faunus sorted though. So expect to see at least one of those sometime. Awesome. What's interesting as well, no one realized what I did with the colours. I did Ruby colours and no one pointed that out. I'm rather disappointed. And she knew, but I'm disappointed in you for not pointing that out either. Call yourself a Ruby <laughs> fan. <laughs> Oh, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to her to play this. I'm just saying that it's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> Still, I think that it, this actually ran very smoothly for a first time. Yeah. I'm surprised at how well it was run. <laughs> <laughs> so because I try not to be too difficult. I was cons I was I was thinking that with the that with the dump here. It was going to be a lot crazier than it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good fun. I enjoyed it. It was cool. I actually like the fact that we're, I was just like doing random shit, looking for the trees to actually find stuff, and just, um, actually taking random items to actually sell the shit, which is cool. That was all on the spot, not even gonna lie. Made that up yeah. on the fly. <laughs> awesome. That's good, mate. You did an awesome job. You did. Thank you, Crimson. That was absolutely fun. Yes, thank you, Crimson. Oh, thank you. Glad you all awesome. enjoyed it. We did. Awesome. Alright, we should probably call it though, because we've been going for a while. And yeah. It's late for hours. Crimson and Elena. Yes. Okay. 
It's probably late slash early for, uh, for Kitten. Well, yeah. yeah, actually for everyone. <laughs> yeah, except for us Aussies. That damn evil laugh! <laughs> I know, it's fucking... Don't give me night now. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh god. Alright. <laughs> That's a good time for us to end it. Thanks everyone for watching. Thank that you more. everyone for watching. And we Thank may make know. this a regular thing. It was yeah. fun. Yeah, let us know yeah. in the Discord in the comments what you guys think. And uh, if you guys want to continue. Uh, do us some more, but yep. uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, thanks, guys. See ya. Yep. See ya. Bye. Bye.